In the midst of the vampire onslaught during the blood hunt event, the chaos reaches far beyond the usual battlegrounds, extending all the way to New Orleans, Louisiana. This city is not only known for its vibrant culture, but also as the home of the Strange Academy. As the vampires descend upon New Orleans, the students of Strange Academy, Doyle, Darmarmu, Shaylee, Tooth, Zoe, German, are drawn into an adventure that will take them across the Marvel Universe. Their journey will lead them directly into the heart of the Blood Hunt action, where they will face challenges and dangers unlike any they've encountered before. Get ready for an epic tale filled with magic, mystery, and mayhem in Blood Hunt Strange Academy. Volume 1, Issue 1. A new student joins the Strange Academy. Her name is Pia. Pia thinks to herself, let's play a game. Let's count how many times I lie to the people that I want to be best friends with. The new friend she's talking about is Shaylee Moonpetal, German, Aguilar, Zoe, Doyle, Darmarmo, Tooth, and Gus Ladd. They are all headed to a vampire tour. Pia is attempting to fit in, but finds herself constantly lying about who she is, feeling nervous around others as she strives to make a good impression as the tour guide leads them through the vampire tour something feels amiss something strange suddenly a little rabbit named tito peeping appears on pia's head a storm begins to brew but this storm doesn't seem natural gus senses that something is amiss feeling of impending danger suddenly a vampire attack sinking his teeth into the tour guide's neck sending him crashing to the ground pia realizes that the situation has taken a turn for the worse beyond anything she could have imagined Doyle Darmarmu grimly observes that the dead have risen to join the fray, while Zoe issues a warning not to let the vampires bite, revealing her own undead status. Moonpetal and Tooth vow to protect Pia the new girl, but their efforts are cut short when the tour guide, now turned into a vampire, attacks and incapacitates them both. As Doyle blasts one vampire aside, Zoe recognizes the dire need for assistance. However, German, overwhelmed with fear, struggles to summon his powers. In a moment of desperation, the new girl Pia unexpectedly springs into action, breaking a shovel. She transforms into a makeshift stake and swiftly dispatches one of the vampires, saving German from imminent danger. Standing over the fallen vampire, Pia receives expressions of gratitude from her fellow Strange Academy students, including a heartfelt thanks from German. As the students congratulate her and express their respect, Pia expresses a genuine smile, unmaired by falsehood for the first First time that night. However, Zoe interjects, interrupting the moment, signaling that there may be more challenges ahead. With the sun blackened out by the events of the blood hunt, approximately 30 vampires stand ready to engage in battle with the students of Strange Academy. Zoe quickly communicates the urgency of the situation, signaling to the group that they must depart immediately. Minutes later, Dr. Voodoo appears and swiftly ushers the Strange Academy students out, utilizing a portal to dispatch the vampires. Empires. Pia reflects to herself, realizing that the price paid for monumentary happiness through deceit often leads to more lies. Dr. Voodoo directs the students to head to their chambers and clean up, with the exception of Pia, who is asked to come to his office. Dr. Voodoo urges Pia to open up about the current situation, expressing concern over the worldwide darkness and the widespread vampire attacks causing mass casualties. He reassures Pia that she won't face any consequences for speaking up. Pia, generally unaware of what's happening amidst her lack of knowledge. However, someone does. Dr. Strange appears in his astral form, indicating that he holds the answers. Dr. Strange discerns that Pia is not involved in the blood hunt, prompting him to request Pia's departure so he can confer privately with Dr. Voodoo. As the others exit the room, Pia notices four of her new friends from the Strange Academy eavesdropping with Tito perched, as usual, on her head. Dr. Strange reveals that Blade has orchestrated a global coup, blocking out the sun and unleashing vampires on a killing spree worldwide. He emphasized that humanity's only hope lies in the Montes formula, requiring Darkhold to enact it. Additionally, he mentions that aside from the essence in Wanda, who is missing, he felt a faint trace of it in Madripoor. Dr. Strange requests Dr. Voodoo's assistance, although the specifics are currently unclear. However, following the events of Blood Hunt, 
blade purge his sword into Doctor Strange's heart. Now, Doctor Strange may be a vampire or at least under Blade's control. Jermaine, Darmu, Zoe, Shali, and Pia listen intently, realizing the urgency of attaining the Darkhold, an ancient book. When Darmu expresses reluctance to pursue the book, Shali believes it's necessary. Jermaine makes the decisive call, stating that acquiring the book is their next step. Zoe finds herself torn between the different opinions. Shaylee suggests following Doctor Strange's lead, indicating that the Dark Hole is located in a forest in Madripoor. She proposes retrieving the book and returning with it, allowing them to determine their course of action from there. Pia realizes that her friends are venturing into a dangerous situation, unaware of the true extent of the power they're facing. She recognizes that there's no one else present to prevent them from proceeding but her. Despite her concerns, when the Strange Academy pupils decide to retrieve the book and return it to the academy. Jermaine extends a hand, inviting her to join them. In fact, Pia doesn't intervene to stop them. Instead, she decides to join them on their mission. Using a portal door, they transform themselves to Madripoor. Jermaine warns the group to be vigilant for more vampires. However, as they embark on their quest for the Darkhold book, Shaylee realizes that it's not a book at all. As a strange boy appears in front of the strange academy pupils, they inquire if he knows anything about Dark Hold. Suddenly, the dark hold itself responds, echoing Agatha's warnings of the consequences. It questions why they even bother seeking it out if it's the dark hold they seek. The mystery unfolds as the Strange Academy realize that the boy they encounter is the embodiment of the dark hold itself. Rising above the ground, surrounded by mystical words, he reveals his true nature as the dark hold incarnate. The Strange Academy pupils brace themselves for battle, determined not to make it easy for dark hold boy. Jay Lee voices their defiance followed by Darmu emphasizing their readiness to resist. Jermaine channels his magical ability to transform into a massive rhino while Shaylee takes the first swing. However, the dark hold swiftly incapacitates her, followed by Jermaine whose rhino form proves ineffective against him. Darmu unleashes his magical power but they are quickly nullified as are Zoe's efforts as the dark hold boy knocks out the entire strange academy. He expresses disappointment remaining that it was wasn't nearly as enjoyable as he had anticipated. With the rest of the Strange Academy incapacitated, the lawn pupil left standing is the new student, Pia. Tio perched atop of Pia's head attempts to protect her, but is swiftly swatted away by the dark old boy. As the Strange Academy kids begin to regain consciousness, Pia mourns the loss or the injury of Tito, recognizing his unwavering desire to help her. Faced with the inevitability of her action, she suddenly rises to her feet, her eyes ablaze with red determination. Without hesitation, she charges towards the Darkhold, propelled by a newfound sense of purpose. As Pia engages the Darkhold, it becomes apparent that she possesses vampiric magical powers. With a swift movement, she sinks her teeth into his neck, drawing upon her abilities. Surprisingly, she finds herself enjoying the act, embracing the surge of power coursing through her veins. In the prequel to Blood Hunt, Strange Academy, the Darkhold communicates with Agatha, affectionately calling her mommy. However, Agatha rebuffs this term when they are alone, reminding Darkhold that's only a disguise to conceal their true identity. The Darkhold becomes frustrated with Agatha's response, artistically acknowledging that he's only allowed to call her mommy in public to maintain their facade. Agatha admonishes the Darkhold to behave and refrain from sneaking around, emphasizing the importance of maintaining his human form to understand the world better. She acknowledges that the Scarlet Witch is searching for them, prompting the Darkhold to sarcastically and Choir of Scarlet Witch is Daddy. Agatha vehemently denies this suggestion, screaming that she's not his mother. Disappointed by her reaction, the Darkhold departs from Agatha's presence. As the Darkhold runs off, screaming that Agatha isn't his mother, Agatha pursues him. In a desperate attempt to halt his escape, the Darkhold ploys black magic to transform one of the train workers into a tiger, hoping to impede Agatha. However, the transformed worker turned tiger now becomes an unexpected threat as it turns on Agatha attacking her with vicious intent. Faced with the unexpected attack from the transformed tiger, Agatha grapples with the threat while the dark hold seizes the opportunity to escape. He leaps from the train, plunging into the water below. Now submerged, he must quickly decide on their next destination and course of action. As a small rowboat approaches, an old man offers assistance to the dark hold. Utilizing his magical abilities, the dark hold transforms both the old man and his dog into a mystical beast, obedient to his commands. With 
with his newfound companion, the dark hole directs them to roll the boat, charting a course determined by his own enigmatic intentions. As the dark hole surveys Madripoor, he expresses satisfaction, deeming it a perfect destination. With a sense of anticipation, he welcomes himself to Madripoor, eager to immerse himself into the experiences that wait him on this mysterious and enigmatic land. In the prequel story of Pia, finds herself unexpectedly confronted by a vampire intent on capturing Tito. Tito flees in a desperate attempt to escape. As the vampire closes in on her, Pia reflects on her actions, questioning whether her instinctive response qualifies as heroism without a conscious choice. Despite her doubt, she acts swiftly using a wooden stake to dispatch the vampire and protect Tito and herself. However, her moment of triumph is short-lived as another vampire emerges, acknowledging her special nature akin to Tito's. In a twist of fate, Pia is bitten by the vampire. As Pia awakens, she grapples with the realization of her transformation into a vampire. With the guidance and friendship of Dr. Voodoo, she navigates the challenges of her newfound existence. However, as Sussen approaches the imminent return of Dr. Voodoo, poses a dilemma knowing that exposure to sunlight would bring unbearable pain to her vampire form. Tito's return to save Pia highlights the death of their bond. Despite her impulsive actions, with Tito's ability to shield her from the sun's harmful ray, Pia gains the freedom to venture out during the day. Impressed by Pia's bravery in defending a stranger against a vampire, Dr. Voodoo recognizes her potential and introduces her to the idea of Strange Academy, where she can find guidance and acceptance among others like her. Next, Blood Hunt, Strange Academy, Volume 1, Issue 2. Welcome to Strange Academy, where the best and brightest young sorcerers are trained by the greatest magic user in the realm. Earth has been thrust into Eternal Night, kickstarting a vampire feeding frenzy. While the grounds of Strange Academy may be safe behind its mystical defenses, the rest of the world is not overhearing a conversation between their headmaster, Dr. Voodoo, and the astral projection of Dr. Strange. The students learned of the Montessi formula, a powerful spell that could end the blood hunt once and for all. The spell could only be found in the pages of the Dark Hole, so the students decide they should help find the Dark Book and save the world. With their new friend Pia and her tiny and cute familiar Tito peeping in tow, the gang teleported themselves to the Dark Hole's last known location, Madripoor. There they find not an ancient tomb, but a young boy claiming to be the Dark Hole come to life. He made quick work of the Strange Academy students, and with their backs against the wall and no other options, Pia attacked the Dark Hole, revealing herself to be a vampire. Blood Hunt Strange Academy Volume 1 Issue 2. Ever since the night, I barely survived vampires are the ones that make everything in me freeze. It's not rational. Something else takes over, and I can't function. German opens up, revealing that he has been attacked by a vampire, and since then, he had a fear of them. German continues, fast forward a bunch of years, an incoming student, Pia, became my newest friend at Strange Academy. It's not just because she has an animal familiar, animage, although that helped. More than that, Pia is one of the best listeners I know, and it's been nice to have someone outside of all the regular Strange Academy drama to talk to. Most recently, she literally saved my life from the thing I fear most, except now it turns out she is the thing I fear most. I can't deal with this. Everything is upside down. Pia is a vampire. In the last issue of Strange Academy, Volume 1, Issue 1, In Search of the Darkhold Book, the students were attacked by vampires, and Pia is the one who saved the day. The Strange Academy is shocked to see what Pia did. German says, Vampires are running amok, murdering people all over the world. That dark hold kid may have been trying to kill us, but he was our only chance at using the Montessi formula, which would have killed vampires. So what Strange Academy is searching for in the dark hold, the Montessi formula will kill their fellow student, Pia. Pia says, Yes, by wiping out every single vampire on Earth, including me, German says, says, in that single moment, everything turns upside down once again. Clarity steps in. Pia is my friend and nothing else matters. We have to stop that from happening. We have to stop Dr. Strange from using the Dark Hole brat to set off the Montez formula. Just then, the Dark Hole brat disappears and runs off. Meanwhile, the Strange Academy, Shaylee message tooth, Dr. Voodoo never wanted to get the Dark Hole book or the Montez formula. He did not want to kill off Pia. He was totally against it. However, 
he's worried about where some of his students are. Gus says, yeah, they found the dark hole, but it's a he, not an it, and they need help. We gotta go. Dr. Voodoo does not want to put the entire campus on lockdown because of the vampire threat. No students are allowed to leave the premise, Dr. Voodoo says. I will get them back. If you talk to them first, they must come back immediately and stay away from the dark hole. As Gus walked in the hallways, wanting to help his friend, Professor Agatha Harkness appears out of nowhere. She said, perhaps I can be of assistance. The strange academy pupils are hunting for the dark hole child as Jermaine and Pia talk about Jermaine's fear of vampires. Pia tells him, not all vampires are the same. Jermaine replies, I was just surprised that you are a vampire. You never told me something so important. Pia responds, can you see why I wouldn't tell you that though? Just then, Shaylee says, heads up everyone, something's happening up there. They turn the corner and see vampires attacking humans. The humans are trying to fight back, but it's a little bit useless, except for the Strange Academy students. Doyle Darmarmu says, all right, everyone, you know what to do. Jermaine adds, the only way out is through, as the Strange Academy students charge in to attack the vampires. As soon as they spot the dark hole child, playtime is over. The Strange Academy students quickly wipe out many vampires. The dark hole child preparing for Academy's attack deals with his vampires as well. However, Shay Lee uses her own zombies to hold down the dark hole child. The dark hole child easily dispatches the zombie and says, your little friend has already proven that vampires don't deserve a chance. Let me rid the world of them. Pia screams out in defiance. Never. The dark hole child then blasts the floor. As the strange academy battles vampires, the dark hole child is escaping. As the strange academy sees the dark hole child running away, they go after him in full force. Jermaine says, you should just be over here. We are close. Tooth and Gus cut off the dark hole child's escape. Gus says, we were worried about you guys. Dr. Voodoo said we couldn't leave and that we should stay away from the dark hole. But then Professor Harkness helped us get here with a portal. The dark hole child suddenly looks scared and says, Agatha, no, is she here? Please, please don't make me go back to that awful woman. I'll do anything. Pia does not trust him. Pia and the dark hole child start arguing back and forth. The dark hole child says, of course you would say that. You just tried to murder me. Pia responds, it was just a flesh wound. I knew you'd be all right. Anyway, you were about to wipe out me and everyone like me. The dark hole child retorts, in case you haven't noticed, everyone like you is rampaging through the world right now. Pia counters, it's not everyone. The dark hole child argues, don't you see, this is my one chance of doing the right thing and save humanity. The whole strange academy goes, huh? The dark hole child says, for as long as I can remember, all I've known has been the whispering undercurrent of diabolical schemes. The darkest magic flowed through me, and then suddenly I was whole, human sort of. I felt things I never felt before. Life, joy, wonder. I thought Agatha Hartness could help me come into the fullness of this new self, but she wanted to use me for my darkness and to help her hide from her pursuers. She didn't care about what I wanted. The dark hole child says, just a chance to find out what I truly am and then be that, whatever it may be. I was only beginning to learn what freedom tasted like when vampires started running amok, murdering people. I have the power to stop them, Jermaine says. There must be another way. Just then, Agatha Harkness comes in and says, Oh, there you are, my darling. I was uh, worried about you. Out of nowhere, the dark hole casts a spell and disappears. The dark hole child says, Oh no, we're not doing this again. Out of my way. The stranger cat Academy pupils are confused by what just happened. Jermaine says, I know we couldn't trust him. The kids feel that everyone always one step ahead of them as they get up from the magical blast. Suddenly from the skies, Dr. Doom appears. He says, if it's any consolation, you are correct about one thing. There is another way and only Dr. Doom can achieve it. Dr. Doom descends gracefully, drifting to the floor. Dr. Doom says, come along. You can witness and even take part in the world's salvation. Despite some self down and suspicion, that Dr. Doom might not be telling the truth. The Strange Academy pupil realize they have little choice. The Dark Hole threatens to wipe out all the vampires, including their friend Pia. Then they notice Pia is missing. The Strange Academy pupils know they must first stop the Dark Hole child from whatever he's planning. He is teleported to an arena where two men are fighting and being cheered on by a crowd. There's a lot of light indicating these might be human. We will find out in the next issue what the Dark Hole child's plans is, what Dr. Doom 
Doom's plan is. And remember, Doctor Strange and Clear Strange are in Latveria looking for another answer from the pages of Blood Hunt Issue 3. Next, Blood Hunt, Strange Academy, Volume 1, Issue 3. Nothing will ever be the same again. And maybe that's a good thing. What matters most is that we'll face whatever's next together. Quote, Here, the kids have found the dark hole and are ready to cast a spell to destroy all vampires. But they don't have the power to do so. Will Doctor Doom help them? Blood Hunt, Strange Academy, Volume 1, Issue 3. Welcome to Strange Academy, where the best and the brightest young sorcerers are trained by the greatest magic user in the realm. Vampires have taken over Earth, and the students of Strange Academy are dead set on stopping their reign of terror. In the effort to help, they were led to Madripoor to locate the dark, magical tomb known as the Dark Hold. When they arrived, they found that the book has been transformed into a young boy. The Dark Hold revealed his attention to use the Montessi formula, an ancient spell that would wipe out every last vampire on Earth, including Strange Academy newcomer Pia. Unwilling to let that happen, the students went to stop him, but were interrupted by the former guardian of the Darkhold and Strange Academy teacher, Agatha Harkness. Harkness wanted to take control of Darkhold, but he fled, kidnapping Pia as well. With no leads on where to look for them, the students accepted the help of their least likely ally, Dr. Doom. We pick up right where we left off. The Darkhold child has taken Pia to an arena that resembles a wrestling mat. He tells Pia that since she's so convinced vampires deserve to survive, he's decided to conduct a little experiment. The child then transforms everyone in the arena into monsters, declaring the experiment to be a survival of the fittest. Meanwhile, Pia initially plans to wait for the child to let his guard down to attack again. However, after the arena transforms, Pia discreetly pulls out her phone to let her friends know her location. As monsters surround Pia, the dark old child smirks and says, Let's call it survival of the fittest. Pia needs backup. We pick up with the other students as they continue to fight vampires while searching for their friend Pia. During the battle, Jermaine receives Pia's message and informs the others that she's at the arena and needs their help. Jermaine reflects on how he was caught up in his own problems that he failed to notice how much his friends needed him. Despite that, Pia still managed to save him and he vows not to let her down again. Without hesitation, Jermaine rushes off to save Pia, but in his urgency, he leaves the rest of the team behind. Now he finds himself alone and surrounded by vampires, desperately looking around for help. Meanwhile, at the arena, Pia is in the fight of her young life as the dark old child continues sending more and more monsters after her, taunting that he's giving her a chance to prove herself. However, from the looks of it, Pia seems to be losing the fight, prompting the child to prepare to unleash the Montessi formula. Just as he's about to do so, Agatha Hartness interrupts, having found him once again. Agatha says, There you are, my dear. Dark hold. I've been worried sick. We return to Strange Academy. Students, where Jermaine is attacked by vampires. Fortunately, his fellow Strange Academy students arrive, just in time to help. Doyle Darmarmu blasts several vampires away, then picks up Jermaine and says the strange academy is here now can we please get out of here they defeat the vampires and immediately start to grill Jermaine for running off alone they remind him that he can't help Pia if he's dead though Jermaine wants to help they point out that punishing himself serves no purpose if they're going to save Pia it has to be as a team Jermaine agrees saying you're right I need to stop seeing Pia as someone who has to be saved from my mistakes and start seeing her for who she really is a friend. We need to show up for her as a team together. Meanwhile, back with Pia, she watches as the dark old child fights for his own survival against Agatha. She tells him that he's too impulsive and too powerful to be left alone, insisting that he's coming with her either as he or as his original form, the book. Agatha then blasts the boy with her magic, rendering him unable to use his powers. In response, he decides to take off and hide. The dark old boy 
boy mutters to himself, I made it. I'm still a boy. I can do this. As he turns away, he sees Pia, Fangs, Bard, and realizes, this is my chance. The dark old child says, Pia, wait, I'm scared. Pia responds, of course you are. You're finally powerless. The dark old child pleads, no, it's not that. I finally understand what it means to be human. It's not survival of fittest. It's this, this vulnerability. I know I've done horrible things. I know to you, I'm not a boy, I'm a monster. And that's true. But I'm also just a boy who wants to live. Do you remember what that feels like, Pia? Pia hesitates. Of course I do. How could I forget? She thinks to herself, this might be a huge mistake. She pulls out Tito peeping and places him in the dark old child's head, telling him that Tito will provide extra protection to help him regain his magic. However, she also warns him that this doesn't mean she fully trusts him. I still need your help, she explains, since Agatha is probably trying to take me out too. Agatha Hartness then finds them and says, if I can't catch you on my own, I'll just create some help. She clones herself while Pia frantically sends messages to the Strange Academy kids calling for backup. As the Strange Academy students battle their way through vampires to reach the arena, Jermaine says, once we got Pia, we can use the magical token Doom gave me too. But then he sees the message Pia has sent. Oh boy, we need to get over there now. Back at the arena, Pia, the dark old child, and the old man man whom the dark old child had previously turned into a monster to row his boat are now engaged in a fierce battle with Agatha and her clones. The dark old child tells them, we have to find the real Agatha. She's the only one who can use magic. The rest are just crude copies. Pia responds, great, how? Pia says, all right, let's do this. As she prepares to face Agatha Harkness by herself, just then the cavalry arrives. Jermaine on top of Doyle Darmarmo and the rest of the strange academy. Jermaine shouts, pick on someone your own size, Agatha Hartness. The strange Academy students are taking out the remaining Agatha copies, with Doyle Darmarmu casting powerful spells and Pia slashing through them. One by one, each of the Agatha copies falls. The original Agatha Harkness gains the high ground and says, regrettably, if I hit the little vampire, the creature will go to her instead of the dark hole. Then I could take my shot. Just then, the dark hole child shoots her out of the sky. Agatha, shock, says, what did you do? The dark old child replies, I hit you with the same spell you were aiming at Pia. That's what you get for messing with my friends. Now rejoice in my magnanimity and be gone. Jermaine asks Pia, what do you want us to do with the dark old brat? Pia responds, it's all right. I can say I forgive him, but I'm willing to let him earn my trust. Jermaine can't believe his ears and neither can the dark old child. Pia continues, in fact, Doyle and I were thinking that maybe there's a better way to learn about existence than just running from Agatha all the time. Doyle Marmu adds, yeah, take it from me, one walking apocalypse to another. It's not about what people think of you, it's about your choices. What do you think about exploring that as a student at Strange Academy? The dark old child is overjoyed to be invited and to finally have friends. Now they must return to Dr. Doom and the coin. Doyle Darmarmu asks, you ready to help save the world with Dr. Doom? Later we return to Castle Von Doom in Latveria, just after the events of Blood Hunt Issue 4, where Doom enters alongside Stefan and Clea Strange. Doom declares that it's time for them to combine all their magics. As he begins weaving their powers together in a magical act never before seen, he tells them that he will lead the ritual, focus their efforts, and ultimately save the world. All he asks of them is everything. Doom seems poised to do something great, or possibly something terrible. Next, Blood Hunt, Volume. Volume 1, Issue 5.